Okay, let's talk a little bit about Constant Contact. Um, first of all, go to constantcontact.com and log in. When you first joined with us, uh, you received a welcome letter that had uh, quite a few logins and passwords, and this was one of them. We all use the same one. So it's uh, wvelpula at urecolumbia.com, and the password is united2015, no caps. So there you go. Let's get logged in. There are two ways to create a campaign, but why would you create a campaign? Why are we even using Constant Contact? We're using it because we're trying to accomplish something we can't do with our personal email. If we have a Gmail or a Hotmail or anything along those lines, there's going to be a limit to the number of emails that you can send in one fell swoop uh, before it becomes spam. Uh, so in order for us to contact all the agents in town, and there are somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 agents in town right now, in order for us to impart information quickly and easily, we need to use a service like Constant Contact. So we have elected to use Constant Contact, and here we are. So there are two ways to do it. You can either create your own from scratch, which is perfectly reasonable, or we can not reinvent the wheel completely. Uh, if we're in a hurry, we can say, hey, um, what is a campaign that seems to be saying or accomplishing the same thing that I want to, that maybe I can just replace the pictures and the words, but leave the setup and leave it as it is. I'm looking right now for one that's um, got just a couple of pictures. I just want to kind of give you an idea of how to of how to use this. So here's one with just a few pictures and some words, and that way I can show you the basics. So I'm going to go over to this box over here. There's a drop-down box, and what we're going to do is we're going to copy it. Notice in copying, we're going to name it something else. So okay, so first thing we do, just start top to bottom and note that you can edit every section, okay? So the first thing we want to do is the subject line is how to use constant contact. Okay. And the preheader is you can use a preheader, you don't have to. Sometimes it shows up on, on some emails, sometimes it doesn't. Um, Okay, from United Real Estate Columbia. Um, you can also put, no, yeah, here's where you want to put your email address. I'll put my email address. Here we go. Took me a second to find it, okay. And the reply to address, you would also want to be you, so nobody else is getting questions and or comments or responses from your email. Okay. So as you can see, there's the header. Okay. So now we move into the body of the email. So nothing wrong. You can absolutely keep uh, the logo there. Like it. That's good. Um, so maybe here you put the address of the property. Um, okay, now there's a picture. Um, let me show you how to replace pictures. Okay, so here's a picture. Now this is in somebody else's, right? Uh, so what we want to do is we want to say, well, I need a picture of the house I'm doing. So all you do is you click on the picture and then you can replace it with another. Now, notice there are a lot of pictures and things in here. Every picture that you use in a constant contact ad stays here until it's deleted. Okay, so once you're done with it, it would be really helpful um, if you could maybe go back and delete them from time to time. Um, that being said, okay, 
here's one. I'm going to use this because this was something that we, it's one of ours that we had listed. Okay. So there's, there's a house. So I'm going to insert that into the, into the, picture. so you see how easy it is to insert pictures. If, however, you want to replace the picture with a picture that you haven't uploaded yet, you need to then go over to the right here and you upload a file. And then you can browse the computer. I'm going to go to some pictures and I'll put that in there just because probably want to rotate it is the problem. Let's see how we do that. I'm going to insert it. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, looks like I can't rotate it. That is something to be noted that I think we need to use horizontal pictures and not vertical pictures. Okay. Um, and so I only want those two pictures, let's say. So if I don't want the third picture at all, and I say, eh, I only need a couple, or, you know, I've got what I want, um, then I can delete it. Um, before I do that, though, what if you want them in a different position? So just hold and drag, okay? I mean, it's easy enough to do. Just start dragging. You'll, you'll see how the page starts to take shape. So let's say we don't want that picture, so we delete it. So now there's no extra picture. I can also make this bigger if I want. <laughs> My sideways picture. Let's make that bigger. Um, okay. So then, that's a cute little graphic in there. We can leave that. I, I, I like that a lot. But notice that everything is has the ability to be changed. Okay. So, the picture, let's see. We can just delete this whole thing if we want, um, but I don't want, I like it. Okay, so here are some words. We can change these words. Okay, schedule. See, this is all good. You can add words. Okay, here's the details. Okay, so you would change all the details here. Uh, if you want to add something else, if you want to get rid of, get rid of this box, and add your own text box for some way, then you just drag. Okay, now, notice when you drag a box, it may have some writing in there already. Always delete that and then um, begin typing. Okay, so just make sure that you're not leaving any pre-written information in there because at some point the recipient is gonna see it and it looks it looks awkward. So, so that's good. Um, at the bottom, notice you can even change at the bottom. So if you're a Lexington agent, then you would want to put the Lexington office address. And there you go. Okay, so here we are. So we basically created something um, real quick and easy using a template that basically someone else has started. But you can add pictures if you want a bunch more pictures. You can add pictures. You can set it up how you want. You can take a divider and throw it in there. You just keep dragging. Let's see, where do I want to put the divider? And there's a divider. So you can drag, you can delete, you can do whatever you want uh, with the page. Um, so this is something that you're going to want to play with. Okay. Um, I see there are some action blocks since I last used this. So that's something you're going to want to play with as well. Did I just do... But that being said, you want to send a basic email. Okay, so 
I would want to select an email list. And generally, when you're just trying to reach out to the agents in town, use these groupings of 500. Just, just click on them all. The groupings of 500, not the other ones that are named other things. Let's just use the, the grouping. Okay, so you got all of that. Um, you've already had your from address and your reply to address. I will say if you have never used Constant Contact before, you're going to need to click the Add Another button, type your email address, and then hit verify. It will then take you, it will email you so that you then have to click and verify your address of the constant contact. Then you can come back to this page and you can continue on with what you were doing. Okay? So now the question is do you want to send it now or do you want to schedule it? Um, I suggest scheduling it. Uh, honestly, Maybe 8 o'clock in the morning is a great time. You're kind of hitting people as they're getting going with their day. Um, 3 or 4 in the afternoon, people seem to be covered up and emails get buried, so I might watch that sort of thing. But you can schedule it um, for any time you want. In addition, once you've scheduled it, you can then, well, first of all, you can send me early results. So that's going to tell you how many people opened it, what percentage, that sort of thing. So make sure that your um, that your email address is the one that you have in that box if you're going to have early results sent. Then, this is kind of fun, resend to non-openers. So, you can choose to, within a few days, send it again. And you don't even have to think about it. You scheduled, now you've scheduled two sendings of this email, and it will not go to people who've opened it. So they won't be hounded. It's just people who may not have opened it, who may not have seen it the first time, etc. So it gives you a little more opportunity to get your word out. Okay? So these are the basics, the very basics of Constant Contact. I'm sure there's more. We can talk about more. Um, but this will get you going. This will get you on the way to creating an email flyer to send to the rest of the agents in town.